Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Endgame Gear XM1 RGB. It feels like I haven't talked about this mouse in quite a while because back in either January or February I main the regular XM1, still going to main that one. The RGB one is just a little bit eh for me. Let's go ahead and talk about the RGB one anyways because I think it does deserve its own video. So the original XM1 did not have RGB, the new one entitled the XM1 RGB obviously does and it's a pretty big RGB light zone as well. It goes around the entire bottom of the mouse and you have three different zones that you can control that are actually pretty cool. There's only two other updates made to the XM1 RGB that are not included in the original XM1 so they swapped out the switches to be kale reds and they're like very specific kale red switches as well like they're supposed to be a little bit lighter clicks. They're kind of crunchy if I have to say so which isn't really a bad thing. They're very tactile and uh, I'll let you guys hear them in just a sec. But the other upgrade is gonna be the mouse feet. So the mouse feet, instead of there being four smaller mouse feet, there are now two big mouse feet, which is actually really cool. And I hope that they end up bringing that over to the standard XM1. So let's go ahead and listen to those mouse clicks that they swapped on the new version. Now the mouse clicks on the newer XM1 RGB, I actually do think sound a little bit better. Like I said, they're a little bit crispier as well. But for some reason, I feel like the old XM1 has a little bit of a hollow sound when you click the mouse buttons, and these do feel very solid. Now the difference in weight between the two mice is gonna be that the XM1 RGB is around 80 grams, and the standard XM1 is about 70 grams. Now, playing with the XM1, because it has, in my opinion, one of the best mouse shapes on the market right now, I didn't really feel like I was playing worse with the XM1 RGB, but when I switch back to the standard XM1, and I would switch back and forth, I usually have like two or three mice plugged into my desk at once. Whenever I switch back to the standard XM1, I noticed that I was playing better. So don't think that, you know, the 10 grams really is that big of a difference, but it did affect my gameplay, which is really weird. But, you know, I really do honestly in my heart feel like 70 grams or less is like the most ideal weight for most mice. Going over that 70 grams or really, you know, going over, not 70, but I'll say going over 75 grams, I feel like it can start to affect your gameplay a little bit, depending on who you are. I'm kind of like a relaxed, palm, claw-ish grip user, and that's why I really like the XM1, and I like the shape quite a bit. But, you know, that added weight for the RGB, I don't really think is worth it for me personally. Now, the mouse looks great, looks amazing, but, I don't really think the extra 10 grams for the RGB is worth it. All right, so let's talk about something else because that's pretty much all I have to say about the XM1 RGB. There's new mouse one and two buttons, there's new feet on the bottom, and there's the three RGB zones that were not there before. Now the next thing that I want from Endgame Gear, I want the exact same mouse, the XM2, but let's make it smaller, just a little bit smaller for people that want a smaller mouse, obviously and wireless so come out with an xm2 come out with an xm2 wireless for like 40 dollars more 30 dollars more or something like that i think that's pretty reasonable obviously keep all the same changes keep the upgraded mouse one and two keep the upgraded and bigger mouse feet those are really good changes maybe even throw an extra pair of mouse feet in the box as well that would be really really nice that's the next thing i want from endgame gear other than that, an XM1 wireless, but maybe reduce the weight a little bit, cut some holes in it. If you make an XM1 wireless, maybe do similar to how Rocat is doing it now where they have a bunch of holes in the shell and then they have a very thin layer of plastic going above it. But other than that, the XM1 RGB, I like the mouse. I don't play better than the standard XM1 with it, obviously because they increase weight, but um, it's not a bad mouse. If you like mice that are around 80 grams, you have like a weird palm claw-ish grip, kind of like me then you know this might be a really good mouse for you but that's gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i'll catch you in the next video don't forget to join the discord channel as well we're gonna be having some giveaways going really soon so stay tuned i'll see you later